Hey everybody, it's me George here, and I thought today I would do something interesting. I had a uh, a person on uh, my YouTube comment um, who asked me uh, for um, it was on one of my YouTube channels. I'm trying to remember which one. I think uh, I believe it was this one, the Joe one. The response for Joe. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Adi Adida Kuraslia. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. I really do. Uh, he said that is some pleasing desktop themes you got there. Can you make a video showing how you did it? I decided. Well, why not? Why not do a video talking about my desktop, showing my desktop itself? Uh, there are many people out there doing the Linux uh, videos out there showing their desktop. Why not do mine? So, so basically, uh, the theming, I, I use Arch Linux. That's my desktop environment. Uh, that I use the distro. The distro is plain arch command line prompt and everything and it just works folks it just works i never had a problem uh, i have a script a paperwork ba batch script that i type line you know line by line that means when you start arch for the first time to install you get this and it's command line you know to install it everything from the base to the graphics, the sound, the desktop environment, Windows Manager, everything. And I'm um, using XFCE as my uh, desktop environment. Uh, I go into settings to appearances, arch dash fabulous dash dark. That's my theme. And the icons is Orancello. Orant cello it's like it's like it says here super flat uh, flat remix it's um, a unique design uh, that I liked and I was like wow that that would be awesome if I could get that I saw it and I said uh, hopefully it's in the AUR which is another repository that everybody goes to it's not maintained it's only maintained by the developers not by arch at all uh, so if you install anything from the AUR, be careful. Uh, the Windows Manager using the Arch-Fabulous-Dark, the same as the main theme. Um, I use Plex for my docking. Um, and if you go to the AUR, you can find plenty of information. The big one that most people use is the wiki and the wiki is not just only for arch you can use it for other linux distros out there from ubuntu to debian to red hat to fedora you name it it's a it's it'll work with all the other ones a lot of people go to arch to get other linux info and i i like arch i mean it's i've been using it for two and a half years it's still my go-to Actually, it'll be three years, actually, coming up next month. Or this month, actually. Yeah, it'll be three years coming up. So, um, big fan of Arch. You know, just download, you know, go to the download section, download uh, the latest image, and it gives you the ability to boot up. Uh, I go to leaseweb.net. It's a fast server. And right here, this is the September ISO. It's a dual for both 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. So uh, the themes, a lot of times I go to Noob's Lab. Even though this is mainly for um, Debian slash Ubuntu, mainly Ubuntu, but you can find a lot of these themes and icons in the AUR, like right here, Orancello. I, I saw this and I said, 
you know, I clicked it on and I was looking at the icons and I said, I like the icons. Those are really cool, radical icons. Um, it, it was a good favorite of mine and uh, I decided, yeah, why not? Let's, let me, let me do this. This is where I go to get mine. Um, and basically with Arch, I have Pod Mac that I use and then I'll sit there and I'll type type it out and, and if I hit it it'll be in the AUR you see right here there's the git version the regular version um, and then I install it it's real simple folks it's not that hard um, other than that that's it I, I mean it's Nothing else special. I install other apps in here. You could take a look at the different um, um, different apps that I use. Like here in accessories, they have the Maps app. This is f this is a GNOME version of it, um, which also gives you driving directions, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> Uh, let's see the Google Chrome apps, the development apps, education, which is not much. Games, I got some good um, uh, Linux ones, but I I haven't installed all my um, Steam games. I only got a few downloaded. I got to do the rest. I had to reinstall this uh, about a couple weeks ago. Graphics, 3D Blender, uh, Blender, Inkscape, Pinta, uh, Gimp, Shotwell. I got a lot of this interesting ones. Internet. Uh, I have here um, Firefox and Google Chrome and Opera. But as you see here, all these other ones, these are web apps. So if I click uh, Lift here, it's basically using... Google Chrome, but without the address bar in the menu and all the other stuff. Think of it as its own app, but uh, a web app. And that's cool. And it's an application I use, which is called ICE. And then you go here, you put the name, the web address, which menu. You can select an icon or use it from the favicon from the website. And then you decide which web browser. And you hit apply and you add it. And it's really cool. I like it. Um, I have all the other stuff. Um, where is it? Go uh, where is it? Duh, 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 duh. Lifera. Um, oh, I thought. I, oh, there's Hex Chat. I thought I didn't have it. That was weird. Um, multimedia, everything from Clementine to Lollipop is a music player. I have MPV and also Parole as my video player. OBS is my backup. I like using Simple Screen Recorder because it is it just works. I wish Windows has apps like this. Linux has so many different type of screen recorders. They're so much better. I don't understand why Windows, you, you can't find any good free ones. They're crap. This one works. I, I mean... It's simple, like you can see right here. It's not that hard, you know. Um, let's see, and plus I have a few other stuff in here. But Office, Libre Office, you know, Calibra for my um, eBooks and uh, comics. Other uh, and video. Then there's the settings. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then under systems, I use Box. I like using boxes over uh, Virtual Box. I've had fewer issues with Virtual Box uh, with boxes than I did with Virtual Box. I recommend boxes. So that's me. Bleachbit, which is like C Cleaner, H Top, Grub Customizer. When you boot up for Grub, you know you got your printer stuff, Thunar, all the other nice little apps um, also disk is so, sometimes it can be a little better than using uh, 
uh, departed. I don't know. It's this is my preference. Um, if you want to do images like restore images, USB thumb drives, stuff like that, this this works really good. But other than that, that's it. That's my desktop. Uh, showed uh, how to, you know, I hope uh, I Adid, Adida. I hope I pronounced your name right. I hope this helped. Um, and like I said, go to um, Noob's Lab. That's where you'll find all the themes right here, themes and icons, and also wallpaper. All right, and Conkey's uh, configs and themes and all that as well. Great, great website to go to. Highly recommend. Hope. Hopefully it was helpful for everybody else as well. So take care. Um, leave comments and thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Take care. Peace out.